duty. Hello, oh, yeah. cutie. Hello, cutie, darling. Hello, oh, oh, darling. Hello, hello Ronnie. Oh, hello, right. from you, hey, hey Willie, Willie, Willie. I want you to. Yeah, this is Judy and this hello, is Willie. Judy. Judy. Hello, Judy. That's right. <laughs> uh, Dad sent you a present, Uncle Arthur. Oh, thank you, Reg. Ah, uh, Judy. <laughs> Mum sent this for you, Grandad. Oh, has she knitted me another bell tent? Well, she <laughs> thought you might be a bit cold living right up here. She's a dear. Trouble is, your mother goes too far. The last lot of mittens she knitted me, I'm still using as a tea cozy. <laughs> <laughs> Algerian near Steiner. Careful. Well, shall we all go into tea? Come on, Judy, get the lovely flowers into some water. Ron, are you interested in the Great World War? Oh, yeah, I've seen it on the telly. It's great. Well, did they tell you on the telly how Germans used dogs in that war? No. You say, which is a real knockout, Doris. They used Alsatia. Uh, talking about dogs, Ron, did you know that... Uh, Henry VIII was very fond of dogs. Yes, he had a little dog, a poodle, a French dog. Got lost in the maze at Hampton Court. Henry VIII didn't have a poodle, Uncle Arthur. He had hunting dogs. Mm. Oh, yes, yes, well, he got them later. You, uh, yes, to uh, hunt the poodle <laughs> in the maze. <laughs> Hampton Court. Yeah, I heard about your history prize, Judy. Very good. <laughs> How do you like your tea, Willie? Oh, as it comes, up. Well, before I was so rudely interrupted, I was telling you about these Germans. And they used to set these dogs loping across no man's land. And they used to sniff out around the British trenches. And if they found any Tommies, they'd start barking like decoys, you see. Oh, that was jolly clever. Yeah. Man! Yeah? You're the guy ginger nut, but not. If you have too many ginger nuts, you get gingivitis. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, there was this friend of mine called Charlie Fairweather. And he, he was sitting in his he was sitting in his trench, you see, Charlie Fairweather well. And all of a sudden he noticed that there was a big dog's face poking over the top of the trench. And so he frightened the life out of him, as you can well imagine. So he tried to pat it and he, he gave it some bully beef, you see, and then this dog started to bark. Woof, woof, woof! Of course, he barked in German, you see, he was a German. <laughs> and before Charlie knew where he was, he was up to his hips in Huns. <laughs> Mind you, we soon cottoned on. But what did he do then? We shot him. We couldn't do anything else. As soon as we saw a dog, bang! Very embarrassing for Charlie. When he went home on leave, there was a little dog barking next door, and he went and fired his rifle through the letterbox. Ruined the lino. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't do the dog much good, did The <laughs> dog wouldn't talk to him anymore. Mind you, he was a dachshund, he couldn't speak English. <laughs> what? Man overboard! Hey! Dad! Hey, you need it. I'll get you a fresh cup! No, I like dunking them, but this one's a bit, a bit overdumped, you see. <laughs> I like dunking ginger nuts too, Grandad, but I'm never allowed to do it at home. Well, you're on your holidays now, dear. Go on, you help yourself. Sam, sing your ginger nuts now, will you? Yeah, will it? Oh, I, know. I always dunk the toe. Yeah. You like to do it here. Mm. Nice to be free and easy, isn't it? <laughs> what did you do, Grandad? Uh, did you just, just drop them in? No, you dip them in, soften them up a bit. There you go. There you Here, go. Arthur, let your hair down. Have a little dunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are having a bit of fun, aren't we? All together. It's a pity your mum and dad are not here. Here, Ron, give us your cup. Come on, give us your cup. Have you finished it? There yeah. we are now. I'm going to tell your fortune. And we'll see what Lady Luck has to say about your half-term on Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, just a minute, Judy. Yeah, Judy, give me your palm. Yeah. I see you going on a journey. Yeah, I see you going on a journey, too. Uh, with a couple of little fellas with flat hats. Yeah, you're going with another couple, a man and a woman. I see you going in a big building. Yeah, you're going in a big building, too. Yes, you're going in a museum filled with the engines of war. <laughs> you're going in a palace full of beautiful old things. And what's... What? Yes! I can see Ron's going with you. So there must be something wrong with those tea leaves. What do you expect with tea bags? <laughs> I didn't know you were a palmist, Uncle Arthur. Oh, yes. Well, he's got head like a crystal ball, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Ron, Judy, you may be wondering why your father and your grandfather are behaving so strangely. No. Didn't notice. Oh, well, the point is they both want to take you out tomorrow to different places. Now, your father suggests Hampton Court, and your grandfather prefers the Imperial War Museum. Now, you can go wherever you like, do whatever you want, so what's it to be? Oh, in that case, disco. Oh, the skating rink. <laughs> no, 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 I mean, be serious. Hampton War Museum. Court. <laughs> ah, someone's got to change their mind. Come on. Hampton Court. War Museum. Yeah, well, well, neck and neck. Neck and neck, well we? I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll leave it to the weatherman. If it's fine, tomorrow we go to Hampton Court, and if it's raining, we go to the War Museum. All right. That sounds very fair. Well, it's a 50-50 chance in the lap of the gods. 
by the look of things, the gods are on my side. How very nasty for them. <laughs> well, just take a look out of that window, Dad. Look at that lovely red sunset. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh! 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 What's the matter, Dad? Oh, my leg's playing up. It always does when it's going to rain. Oh, it hasn't felt like this since Moses called down the floods upon the multitude. When was that, Grandad? Last Tuesday afternoon at the Odeon. <laughs> Uncle Arthur loves Hampton Court, doesn't he? Well, he used to go there as a boy. Didn't he ever go anywhere else? <laughs> well, I suppose so, but not as often. He keeps... <laughs> you know, he keeps getting lost in the maze, and it's dead easy once, you know. You just take the first two turns to your right, then keep turning left, well, he can't get lost. Well, don't tell your father. He'll spoil his enjoyment. He likes getting lost. <laughs> no one can like getting lost. Well, he's rather romantic. He does. He thinks that's what mazes are for. Um, will we be out very long, Aunt Doris? I mean, wherever we go. Why? Well, Polly and Ian Richardson asked us round. What time? Oh, any time, really, but... But we told him we had a bit of a problem on our hands. Now, why didn't you tell me before? Oh, you know, didn't want to disappoint Dad or Grandad. I mean, well, it's a treat for them to take us out. They don't often get the opportunity, do they? We didn't like to disappoint them. Well, just have to see what we're going to do about it, won't we? Tell you what, Arthur. I bet you quid it rained before 11. Oh, I bet you two it's fine all day. Done. You're wrong. If you two don't get a move on, we won't get anywhere, weather or no weather. Hey, look, 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 Arthur. There's a seagull. I bet it's rough out at sea. Where? <laughs> Damn me, Darth, that's a pigeon. Well, I bet it's rough in Trafalgar Square. <laughs> Tell you what, I bet you two quid that it rains before 12. I bet you four it doesn't. You're on. You're about to lose four quid, Dad. Look, the sun's breaking through. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I've got a wonderful feeling. Four quid is coming my way. <laughs> Once you're getting all excited out a bit, a bit of sunshine, I tell you what, it's very freakish weather, and I bet it rains before 12. Oh, Dad. It's like Billy Bones' pie shop here, isn't it? Look at it all with the food preparing. Now, nah, Daddy, go and get ready. Don't want to keep Arthur waiting, do we? You remember Billy Bones' pie shop, oh, don't you? Oh, come on, don't play for time. Fair's fair. Yes, it was situated in what used to be known as Carpenter Street. And one end was the gas works, and the other end was the Boy Scout hut. And right in the middle was Billy Bones' pie shop. Dad. Very unfortunate street, Carpenter Street, cos one day the gas works blew up, the scout up blew down, and the inspector went round to inspect the pies in Billy Bones' pie shop. He was dead within a week. Was he poisoned? What? Was he poisoned? No, he ran over by a tram. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. Are you two done, then? Yes. yes. Hey, Jim, lad. <laughs> come on, Dad, come all on. Right, dear, all right. You go and get ready now. Yeah, all right. Bye-bye, Doris. I'll see you in a minute. Come along, everyone. Let's get moving. I shan't be long. Be jiffy. Uh, well, I, uh, I see he's admitted defeat. I admire a good fighter, but a man's got to know when he's beaten. Another one. What's up, Ron? Oh, it's clowning up again. What? Let's get a move on. Quick, where is the old fool? No! Oh, this is getting ridiculous! Dad, Arthur, you're worse than a couple of children. Do you, do you mind? mind? Well, why can't we all do just what we want? Hey, do you mean we can go to the Richardsons? No, I don't. Arthur! Why can't we split up going two parties? One party to Hampton Court and the other party to the War Museum. Doris, this is a family outing. Either we go out as a family or not at all. Just see, you should see the way they're dressed. I'm not going anywhere with them looking like that. Rain or shine. I'll tell you what, Doris. Let's do what you suggest, split up. Ah, a decision at last. I've always admired you for your firmness, Arthur. But can we get a move on? Right. Dad? Come on, Willie. Come on. Where are we? <laughs> now then. <laughs> yes. If you are the rather uncertain weather conditions, and to avoid disappointing anybody, I suggest that we go in two groups. Doris, Judy and I to Hampton Court. You, Willie and Ron, to the War Museum. Well, How that, about that? That's all right, Arthur. If that suits you, it suits us. Splendid. Then my little party will set off en famille to Hampton Court for sunshine and cucumber sandwiches, while your little lot can bus it to the War Museum for bully beef on a park bench. <laughs>